Hello Aquarius, Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. All my Aquarius friends. I love Aquarius. Of course I'm biased. Woo! Let's uh <clears throat> let's see what these cards have to say today. I definitely want to thank you, Aquarius, for uh all your support that you give me on my channel, all of your likes and all of your subscribes. You guys are amazing. All your fun comments. Hey, and all my Aquarius friends that reach out for readings. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate them all. And of course, uh, my apologies to those that reached out that I was not able to contact with again this time. Uh, thank you for your patience and your understanding with all of that. These readings will be for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October. First half, first through the 15th. Love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Homework, family, huh? I myself am going to be focusing on love. I love to read love. Woo! Seven of Swords wanted to jump out right there. Sneaky, huh? Oh, Aquarius. Let's get rid of Sneaky one day, huh? Hey, all my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. Uh, just want to remind you that uh, even though I'll be saying Aquarius a lot, these may absolutely read out from your perspective. And we all know there's no possible way these can be for every single Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus on the planet. So if these resonate with you, run with them and have fun. If they don't, throw them out. Let's play some cards right here. Been shuffling your cards for a while. I feel comfortable with this right here, Aquarius. Let's tune in. Hey, Tarot Love Team. Aquarius is here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Aquarius see and hear what they need out of this reading here. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story. For Aquarius, highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aquarius. Cutting the deck. Right in the middle of your spread, right here, Aquarius, is my Princess of Wands. This is a face card, no doubt about it, huh? It's a young fire sign. Imagine that, huh, Aquarius? I'd be watching everybody's readings, uh, Aquarius. Uh, definitely talks about this fire sign right here. This is somebody young, or acts young, you know, um, under 25. Hmm. Uh, got fire in their chart, earth in their chart. Hmm. But this is all about a passion and new beginning and something that you've wanted for a while, Aquarius. Yeah. Let's see where that goes right there. It's, it's about messages. It's about passionate messages coming in from my Aquarius friends. Possibly from a fire sign. Possibly from an earth sign right here. Lord, two princesses right here, huh? Earth, huh? Hmm. Wow, more messages coming in right here, you know. This is somebody young. Two princesses right here. My princess of pinnacles. Whew. You know, steady movements forward. It's one step at a time. This is talks about messages, but it doesn't talk about texting. It just talks about phone calls or face-to-face -face meets with this person right here. Wow, you know, going through the red flowers, feeling that the price has been paid, huh, Aquarius? Hmm? Got a little coin, a little offering coming in for many of my Aquarius friends. A little piece of the harvest in the hand right there, you know, ain't nothing guaranteed at this time. And that little, that little piece of harvest right there. But it is a new day dawning for you right here, you know. She's walking past this... Uh, Japanese uh, cherry blossoms right there, which always talk about good luck and good fortune coming in here for you. 
I like that right in the middle of your spread right there, Aquarius. That's the Earth sign. Sun, moon, rising, of course. Somebody coming in to make Aquarius an offer right here. Let's see where this goes right here. R distant past is uh, my knight of swords on the bottom of the spread right here. Of course, this can be Aquarius energy. It can be because this card's called Rushing into the Fray. It can refer to in the distant past, maybe Aquarius felt that they rushed into this situation a little bit too fast. Or maybe this other person came a rushing into Aquarius life a little bit too fast, you know, slinging the sword around, you know, being aggressive, you know, all of that fun stuff right here. It's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini right here. Uh, it's a very young energy still right here, my Aquarius friends. Hmm. Look at this right here. The moon card in the recent past. Just had that uh, moon in Aries, that full moon in Aries. May have been some contact at that time, but whatever. Moon card talks about the cycles of the moon and uh, how they affect people. The cycles that people go through because of the moon cycles. And really what this card talks to me about, it's a major arcana, major life force card. It talks to me about Aquarius following somebody or something that's intriguing to them, huh? Down that old enchanted trail right there full of smoke and mirrors. Hmm? Been going down this trail for a while, many of my Aquarius friends. Yeah. Epic love story here. It's, it's, this is Pisces. Cancer may mean something to you, may not. You know, it shows the little crab right there coming out of the water. He ain't going back into that water, huh, Aquarius? He's definitely going to go down this path right here. Mm -hmm. Why? Going to head towards the moon right there. Why? Well, in the Terra Illuminati deck, which is a deck I play with, as many of you know, shows the sun on the flip side of the moon right there. Shows that land illuminated over there. Yeah, looks like Aquarius is going to go down this road right here, that's for sure. Definitely a lot of passion right here. Definitely a lot of, well, <laughs> the feeling of some kind of stability here. Mm -hmm. Something that Aquarius des <laughs> desires, desires. Let me see right here. Top of the spread right here. The juggler's showing up. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles right here. The Dance of Change is the name of this card right here. Wow. Aquarius may be juggling just things of life at this particular point in time as we go into October right here. The Juggler, you know. I mean, it shows both ships up on top of the sea right there. Seas are rough, but neither one of those ships are sinking, by the way, Aquarius, if you are going through some challenging times right now. The juggler has two coins in his hand. He hasn't dropped them. Well, the infinity symbols around those uh, pinnacles right there. You know, even though you're going down all smoky, smoky, miry road, you know, this isn't a road that Aquarius is not used to. This uh, moon card, pretty much a stalker card for Aquarius for a while, has to do with this person right here in the middle, doesn't it, Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're juggling. Hmm? Yeah, maybe they come a rushing in and rushing out. Yeah, uh -huh. because they're juggling something right here. Yeah, fun spread, Aquarius. Let's see where it goes right here. Oh, there it is right there, Aquarius. Can't get away from that right there, huh? That king of wands right there in your immediate future right here. You know, gender don't have anything to do with this. This is the king of wands. It's uh, Leo, Saggy, Aries. Sun, moon, rising. I always take and put the fixed signs with this. So that would be Leo for many of you. This is, a, well, it's a soulmate card to begin with, in my opinion. The King of Wands showing up right here. It's a soulmate. Soulmate for Aquarius right here. Definitely got a fire sign coming into your world. Probably got 
earth in your chart as well. They're possibly juggling some stuff, making you feel like you're going down that smoky road right there, you know. They come rushing in. They go rushing out. They probably have air in their chart as well. <clears throat> but my king, you know, this king right here is absolutely good looking. He is the king of passion, you know. Here's my wand. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, good looking. Has a lot of suitors. Passionate. Confident of himself. A real go-getter. Doesn't sit in the throne that long. And um, definitely gets up out of that throne right there. Probably been thinking about Aquarius for a while right here. Look at that old king. He's got his hand on his chin right there. Thinking about mm, my Aquarius. My Aquarius right here. Definitely got a fire sign showing up for you right here. Right here, King of Pentacles as well. Juggler right up here. Hmm. Interesting. Many of my Aquarius friends could know a couple of people themselves. This is a king. This is a King of Pentacles. It can also be where how Aquarius sees themselves at this particular point in time, which is where this card is set right here, how Aquarius would see themselves. Aquarius has had Jupiter in their 10th house for many months right now. It has to do with career. I mean, for many of my Aquarians, it can be going very well for them in the arena of finances. You also may have Earth in your chart as well. But this is my King of Pentacles. This guy, he is the catch. I mean, look at this king right here that's coming in thinking thinking, well, my Aquarius right there, they definitely they definitely are the catch right here. Now, this guy's grounded, balanced, stable, generous, loving, kind. Mm-hmm. The Midas touch right there, huh? Huh, Aquarius, I'm loving it for you right here. This is the catch right here, in my opinion. Amazing potential to be an amazing husband, an amazing father, wife. Mother, all of that. Generous and giving. But there's one thing about this king right here, Aquarius, huh? And that is the fact that this king will not invest a dollar in a 10-cent boy. And uh, that may be uh, an issue right here as we uh, go into the month of October with this relationship right here. It looks to me like it's been... Smoking mirrors for quite a while. Somebody rushing in and out of your world. Juggling things in your world. And here they come again one more time. Maybe they've changed because this energy right here, these are princesses and this is a king. Maybe they've changed, huh? Because they possibly know that Aquarius has changed. Hmm. Right here. They're going to have to present themselves differently to you this time, Aquarius. Exterior influence, well, right there, river of tears, five of cups. Fives always talk about change, but you know, this has been a very challenging time for many of my Aquarius friends. It's no surprise to me, five of cups shows up with the moon card and the juggler up there. And you know, this very young energy right here that rushes in and out and gets what they want. And then, phew, they're gone. Back to ghosting again. You know. You know, a cup spiller. Got a cup spiller running around here, huh, Aquarius? But this card's definitely talking about the two cups right back here. Isn't this interesting? Huh? Not focus on the spilled cups right there, but focus on the two cups right here, you know. Pick up the two cups, go over the bridge over troubled water, back to the castle, a little high vibration right there. Of course, that's the story right here, is it not, my Aquarius friends? This person may have changed. They may have changed. Two of swords right here. Hmm? Hopes or fears position right here. You know. If they have approached you, my Aquarius friend, Aquarius may be in the land of indecision about what they're going to do at this particular point in time with this person. Hmm? Definitely have the heart covered over right there, huh? As Aquarius thinking about what they're going to do with this person. Or possibly maybe this person, the juggler right here, two swords. They have a decision to make about what they're going to do with Aquarius. If they're going to actually, because it looks to me like this person 
knows that they have to change their ways if they're going to play with Aquarius from now on. Because this is this is a powerful change for Aquarius right here. This is coming up to that King of Pentacles, man. Getting it together, man. Wow. Somebody making a decision about what they're going to do here. Probably both of these soulmates are probably mirroring each other, huh? Yeah. But you know, and it does show this uh, this moon right up here. Like I say, uh, first half of the month still looks like they're being the way that they are. Second half of the month, here comes the king. Yeah, for the king right here. Uh-huh. And a decision needs to be made about what's going to happen. I was looking at that right there. It kind of looks like maybe a new moon happening or definitely with one of the moons coming up right here. A decision will be made about what's going to happen here. The, uh, you know, her hair's blowing back right there, you know. Always talks to me about the winds of change have already begun to blow here, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Outcome right here, Wow. Wow, Aquarius, right here. Look at the end of the month right here. Gabriel, the archangel, blowing the trump of God right here. Raising the dead. Who's coming up out of the graves right there? It's the lovers. Mm -hmm. The lovers coming up out of the grave right there. This is about second chances, third chances, fourth chances. God forbid, Aquarius, maybe even an apology coming in here for you, huh? <laughs> Definitely talks about Phoenix from the Ashes. I'm super happy for you, Aquarius. And it definitely talks about you realizing the fact, Aquarius, that you are creating your own reality uh, from the inside out. That what you think, that what you feel, that what you believe is what you are manifesting right here in your life. Yeah. Let's not focus our energy on these spilled cups right here anymore. Let's focus our energy on the two cups, the bliss of life. It's absolutely out there for you at this particular point in time. Absolutely see a juggler possibly changing their ways. Wow. Right here. Definitely something wonderful happening here with this judgment card. Somebody, Aquarius, is going to make a judgment call. You see two of swords right here. Not sure what they're going to do at this particular point in time. Somebody makes up their mind what they're going to do right here. Looks like a, a union coming together right here. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the uh, Wheel of Fortune right here. Hmm? Love it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here. The wheel turning in Aqu Aquarius's favor. The wheel spinning in an upward direction right here. Uh, this is Jupiter. Um, it is, uh, has all four fixed elements on it. It has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Those may mean something to you, you may not. It's also affiliated with Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck, which is Sagittarius. Powerful, powerful spread right here. Strength from the universe. I see it really what's happening right here. We got another a night coming out right here, our third night. No, our second night. Second night, the night of... The Prince of Wands, you know, that's that player energy and strength from the universe, huh? Leo. Leo showed up here in the majors right here. And this is uh, strength from the universe, you know, it's about taming a beast, huh? Taming a player. Look at this, Aquarius. Look at this. I really feel that this player right here that you know, you know, the one you've had your eye on for a really long time, Aquarius. The one that caused you to become like this right here. Unbeknownst to them. Just these energies, all that contrast. When you go through all that contrast, I tell you all these fives talk about change. Change for the better because of the contrast. Yeah, many times we don't know what we do want until we know what we do want. I see right here, you know, the Wheel of Fortune spinning. Yeah, this is more in the future. All right. Bear with me here. This is a story unfolding. Shows the Wheel of Fortune right here. Shows my player energy right here. And major change happening. Uh, the lady in the white is the hero of the story. She's taming the beast right there. She didn't tame this beast with a whip and a chair. She tamed this beast with love and compassion. Tuned in to the uh, divine right here. You know, tuned in, tapped in, turned on. My lady in the white, she's the hero. It's a strength card right here for this whole story right here. All coming together, huh? 
inspired action, being led and guided by the divine right here. Looks really nice, Aquarius. Looks really nice. Looks like your friend may be changing their ways. See it the way you want it to be, Aquarius. See it the way you want it to be, my manifest your friends. Hey, Romance Angels, let's play with some uh, some of these uh, love cards. Let's get them all. There we go. Let's get them all in here. Thank you very much for it. Let's play with three or four cards here for Aquarius. Uh, that which lines up with this spread, confirmation, guidance, all that fun stuff. Thank you, my angels. You know how to do this. Appreciate you. Here we go. Flirt right there, Aquarius. Extend your light-hearted energy. Flirt with them. It sure looks to me like they want to change, Aquarius. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, huh? Yeah. Worth waiting for. Decided to show up. It's like it's like Aquarius stalker card right here, huh? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I see it. I really see it beginning to unfold for you, Aquarius. I'm so excited for you. Really. Let your friends help you. This talks with me about angelic activity, you know. Tell your angels to get involved, you know. Send them out and go to work for you right here. If you don't, angels just kind of stand right there in the corner, you know. Mm. You know. Tell them, hey. Go do something. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael. Do something for me. Don't be surprised when you see change. This looks like miraculous change is happening to your friend, Aquarius. Stoked for you. More for Aquarius, please. Flirt, worth waiting for. Let your friends help you. And attraction. Absolutely, both of you are very strongly attracted to each other. There's no doubt about it in my mind. This is a card of um, staying in the moment, staying in the now, not focusing on the past. We definitely don't want to focus on the past, do we, Aquarius? No. Not focusing on the future, but staying in the now, being appreciative of all of the wonderful things that are manifesting around you. Why? Because you deserve love. You deserve love. We also have forgiving and learning underneath there. Hmm? Lots of this right here. The moon card. You know, the, the Prince of Swords right there with the juggler up on top. No doubt about it. Plenty of forgiving and learning, hmm, my Aquarius friends. This situation involves a marriage. Wedding card wanted to show up for you, Aquarius. That'll scare the bajinky out of many Aquarius. Let's go with committed relationship, huh? Love it for you, my friends. Retreat, once again, it shows a loving couple out in the woods with wedding garb on she has a gown and he has a tux can be some there may be an age difference like i said this person looks young to me in the middle of the spread right here uh and uh, aquarius showing up as the king right here but they changed to a king right here they changed to a king right here but this character does have a little gray in his hair right there powerful spread for you aquarius forgiving and learning you deserve love attraction worth waiting for the flirt. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, uh, Tara, love team. Let's do one major for Aquarius, please. The magician, the manifester, huh? No longer dreaming. This is putting the rubber to the road right here. It's manifesting what you want. Out of the 5D into the 3D right here. The magician has everything he needs to manifest what he wants. He's got the swords, the thought process, communication intellect yeah go aquarius uh the ducats lining up for you right here look at that for many of you my friends emotions right here whoosh uh, got those nice and balanced on the inside of you the one one the passion right there tucked up by the magician's heart the infinity symbol over top of him tuned in tapped in turned on to the divine one thing you're always going to read about the magician is no matter what book you read, it's going to say, as above, so below. Hmm. Tarot Luminati, the deck I play with, definitely calls him the alchemist. Huh? There's some alchemy going on here, Aquarius. Wow. This is the one that turns lead into gold, my friend. 
I love it. I love it. This is a powerful spread for you. Bottom of the deck, my friend. I'm really, really happy for you right here. Once again, the sun card shows up right here. This is Leo. May mean something to you, may not. This is Gemini Virgo right there. May mean something to you, may not, Aquarius. That is the best card in the tarot deck. It's a soulmate twin flame card. Absolutely have something wonderful coming together for you. It looks to me like your friend has begun to change their ways, Aquarius. One could only hope for the best. Let's see it the way that we want it to be, huh? Yeah. Strength from the universe wanted to show itself one more time for you. Leo again. All right. Hope you got something out of this, Aquarius. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Be talking to you soon. Bye for now.